I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Okay. So I've noticed a lack of videos explaining how to properly clean the master files for Skyrim VR. So this would be a kind of a walkthrough how to do that. So very first thing you're going to want to do now, you'd be starting right now. You just installed Skyrim VR from Steam. Verified the files and you've done nothing else. Um what you want to do is actually you want to start Skyrim one time through Steam so it creates a couple files needed. From there you're good. Now you start Skyrim through Steam, play it until you're done the Helgen part where you come out of the cave with either the Stormcloak or the Imperial. And once you get the unbound objective, you save. That'll give you a clean save. So at that point you can save back out of the game and continue with cleaning your master files. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to the Nexus and you want to download SSE Edit from Special Edition Mods. Now the latest version is 4.0.3 I guess you'd say. Um, you're just going to download that and it's not going to it will come with all the scripts but <clears throat> once you download that you're gonna have a folder I like to make a tools folder in my Skyrim folder see this is what your Skyrim folder should look like just before you're doing this and all you're gonna do before you start cleaning is you're gonna make copies of this this Dawn God Dragonborn, Hothfires, your Skyrim, Skyrim VR, and update. Copy those and put them into a folder anywhere. Uh, I'd like to put it right there. Call it OG Masters Original. Alright, so that's going to be that. So now we go back to the Tools folder. Once you download SSC Edit, you're gonna be left with you're gonna get this folder here it's a zip folder if you open it up you'll see what's inside there you're gonna to want to extract that and what I did was I just extracted it right here once you extract that let me show you I use 7-zip we'll extract it to a similar folder named similar this is what you get when you're extracted. So for VR Skyrim SSE, what you want to do first thing, you have to rename the programs. So you'll instead of SSE edit, it is going to be TES5 VR edit. And you're going to do that with both of them. TES 5 VR and that will make it read from your Skyrim VR data folder okay so I've already done that I'm gonna get rid of that I've done that as you can see here you can also set these up as um, executables through mod organizer 2 down the road but I'm not there yet um, probably going to do an entire walkthrough of the mod process as I go. This will be step one. Uh, aside from aside from actually installing Skyrim VR from Steam. Um, so once you've renamed them, we're going to start cleaning our files. So the way we do it with AutoClean is you're going to start this up. I've already done this uh, for update. So we're gonna 
we're gonna start it up it has already started up I just cleaned my update which would be the first file you're gonna want to clean because they're in order so after cleaning this file which took a very long time by the way so be patient if you see it says no records here because it's on like the third pass there okay it says pass one pass two this was pass two so pass two uh, removed nothing pass one is the records we're looking for so if we look back here it says removing masters it says removed records 203 so it removed 203 identical to master records and let's see if I can find the other one here the undeleting references so this would be the other thing so it it found 91 undeleted references so it processed everything it did everything so the way this works is you want to save oh it's already been saved so you just close it out because auto clean does the auto automatic saving at the end I forgot about that see it's uh where is it somewhere it's in there okay so we finished update we're gonna go ahead and close that out let it save okay and now we start that back up the second file is going to be dawn guard for the first pass so we just select dawn guard don't worry about that just select dawn guard You can double click it if you want okay it's just gonna go through and it is gonna automatically clean dawn guard for you so once that's done we'll continue the video now if you are looking it removed 766 identical to masters records Now it'll go through and do the disabled references, I believe, or it's doing the second its second pass right now. Okay, so that was the auto clean for Dawn Guard. See now it did nothing there checked again so right here it removed seven records right here it removed zero let's see right here it removed 766 and let's see if it got any more of those there 82 deleted references so it's it's doing what it's gonna do basically okay okay so now we just close that out automatically saves boom we're gonna go check this out so these are our backups I don't know why I made two backups of that but okay so <laughs> back to tools and back to uh actually we're gonna run regular uh vr edit real quick because there's some manual cleaning that we have to do um so we're gonna do this uh select none <clears throat> We're gonna select Dawn Guard. And we're gonna load that up. Oh. Expand that shit. And the 
first reference we want is cell block five sub block three the ragged flagon scroll down to the red uh, I didn't uh, I don't know where the fuck this is right here counter zone Okay, let me do Okay, that ain't gonna work, so Oh, there it is Boom So we want to remove that that file you right click on that file click on remove absolutely sure turn screen You're good to go Okay, then we're going to sell block two, and it's going to be sub block one, and it's going to be in the guard templates. What? Oh, yes, I do. Thank you. Guard templates, and we're just going to remove the whole record, which is this. Just, uh, what is it? Remove. Yes. Okay, and then we want to go to cell block 8, cell block 1. And this is getting removed. Okay, and I know exactly what that was. And then we're going to close this and save it. We'll back it up, it doesn't matter. And close. So now if we go... Tons of backups. The catch is good. Okay, now back to auto cleaning. We're gonna do hearth fire and uh, dragonborn. So auto clean this. We're gonna let this go. <laughs> <It's> just. <clears throat> All right, now it's doing its thing. It removed 221 records there. Easy. Yeah, all right, so it definitely did some things. And we'll X out of that. And then we have to auto clean dragon board. Never clean Skyrim VR dot ESM never it doesn't need to be clean it's not dirty it's the main file um, once this is done this is the final cleaning which it's done now so it'll say 81 records removed there let's see what the other one says eight records yeah, so it definitely pulled some shit out of there. I hope you find this video useful, guys. Um, if you do, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And keep watch for more videos.